Now we study another type of force which is very much prevalent around us and without which life is not possible and that is force of friction. What is force of friction and where it is uh, applicable? When two objects are in contact and one moves or has the intention to move with respect to other then a force develops between the two to oppose it. This is force of friction. There are two objects in contact. This is one object and this is other object. Okay. One is trying to move with respect to other. Both are moving together is not the case. One is trying to move with respect to other. That means one is like this and other is moving this way or this way. Even if it is not moving, but it has an intention to move, just going to move, even then a force develops, okay, a force develops between the two. This is the contact point here, there is a force which develops, which tries to oppose the motion or intention of motion. Like I give you an example here. I have one body and I have this other body on it. There is no intention of motion at present. Now I apply a force, one Newton here and I am pressing it. It is not moving. I say it has an intention to move. But it is not moving because my force is not sufficient. I make it 2 Newton, it does not move. 3 Newton, it moves. 1 Newton does not move, 2 Newton does not move, 3 Newton it moves, 4 Newton it moves faster. So, there is a force acting between these two. Where is this force acting? Here. These two surfaces are in contact and the force act here and that is force of friction. Now, this force of friction act on the surface. Okay. If this is the surface of one, it is in contact with the other, then the force is acting on every point of the surface and the direction of force is along the surface this way. This is direction of the force and which force? Friction. So, this is force of friction acting at all these points. This frictional force is always along the surface. It will never act in this direction, this direction, this direction, no. It is only acting along the surface. Please remember this. Okay. This is force of friction. What does it do? answer it always oppose the motion or the intention of motion. Now, see it again if this is one body and this is the other body and it has the intention to move in this direction velocity. If it is moving or it has the intention to move in this direction then the force of friction which develops at the contact points this force will act in this direction. opposite. Now, if in the same body, if, if in the same pair, if the body tries trying to move in this direction, then the frictional force will be acting in this direction. Frictional force in this direction. Okay. So, it always opposite to the motion or always opposite to the intention of motion. This is friction. Now, next, what should be the cause of it? What type of force it is? Basically, we have studied that there are four type of forces only, out of which two are inside the atom, which are strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force. There are two forces which are visible to us in the world and that is gravitational force and electrical force. So, friction has to be one of them and friction is 
an electrical force. It appears to be very strange. There is no electricity. Anything which is trying to move, how there can be an electrical force? So in class 12th, when you study electric charges, then you will find that whenever we combine two bodies, one body kept on the other like this, then every material, every body is made of molecules. Molecules are made of atoms and atoms are made of nucleus and electrons around it. There is a nucleus and there are electrons around it. I put it on another material which has got nucleus and electron around it. Now, if I keep one on the other, you will find that this electron cloud, electron cloud and there is mixing up of electrons like this. Now, if I am trying to rub it, move it on the other, what will happen? The two electrons will get hold of each other and one will break the other one from the atom. If I rub it this way, what will happen? Either this electron will break down which belongs to this or this electron will break down which belongs to this. Then what will happen? One particle will have loss of electron, it will become positive charge and one which is having gain of electron will become negative charge. And there is a strong electrostatic force between a positive atom and a negative atom, this force. And they just hold each other very tight and that force is very, very large force, electrostatic force. So, we call it friction in our day to day life. So, this is what is happening at the atomic level and we do not notice it. When it happens, when an object is just trying to move or it is moving, then happen there is the exchange of atom and there is exchange of electron and there is a electrostatic force acting on it. This is the root cause of uh, friction. Anyway, what is more important, what we are going to study is the nature, types and characteristic of this friction. Now, we are going to study the friction between the two surfaces. Sometimes we find this force which is opposing what? Opposing the motion moves, oppose it. What oppose? Oppose the motion. So, basically we remember that friction is the force which oppose the motion. That means if a car is moving on a road, no engine acting on it, it keeps on moving, moving, moving and we find that after some times it has stopped. To change the condition of motion, some force might have worked on it and what is that force? We declare that that force is the force of friction, where it is at the contact point between the two bodies. Which are the two bodies? One body is the road surface, one body is the tires of the car. They are in contact. The tires are trying to move on the road. So, there is a force of friction between the two. If the tires are moving in this direction, then the friction acts in this direction. Okay. Similarly, when we walk, even then there is a friction between our foot and the uh, ground. So, there is always a force of friction which always oppose the motion. So, which force oppose the motion? Answer, frictional force oppose the motion. So, this is force of friction and this is the cause and what does it oppose? It opposes motion. Now, different types of forces and their use that we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.